You know, I, I really believe COVID is an opportunity to learn faith, to really believe that God is able. And, you know, we, uh, we said that in the beginning, but we didn't realize that both my wife and I were going to catch COVID. It's another thing when you have it. But uh, our faith at least held on enough that he brought healing. And so, you know, we need to learn faith and, and grow in faith and love. If we don't really love God with all of our heart, we're not going to behave properly in these last days. So our faith and our love was missing in Laodicea. And it needed to be re-established like they had in Philadelphia. Also, they were lacking in the righteousness of Jesus, which basically means they lost their conversion. And it doesn't apply to every single member, of course, but that's the general condition. They had lost their conversion. If you're not converted, you can't wear the robe of Christ's righteousness. You can't and of course you're not savable if you're not wearing his robe. So it's very important to have that. And Laodicea didn't have it. And the third one is that Laodicea was lacking the proper understanding of God's word. They thought they understood it just like the Jews of old. They thought they understood it but they didn't understand it right. And as a result they are in a very poor condition because the more we understand our Bible, the better Christian we can be. And we know what we're supposed to do. So Laodicea had those serious problems. And so in chapter, uh, Revelation chapter 4, verses 15 to 17, no, I think I, I wrote down the wrong... Chapter 3? Yeah, I think it's chapter 3. Uh, here is God's description, the way they looked to God. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot, I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Now if you look at the original language, it, it, in the King James it sounds like I'm going to do it. In, in the original language, it's like, if you don't change, I'm going to do it. In other words, you're on the verge. You're, you're very close to having me do this, to spew you out of my mouth and say, I don't know you anymore. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increase the goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Terrible condition. And yet they didn't know that they were in that condition. So just to give you the uh, actual dates, this is, you know, it might not be exact, but different historians have looked it over, and this is what they have assigned to the historical periods. Ephesus was represented from 31 AD when Jesus essentially established the Christian church to 100 AD. Now in a way that's kind of sad because it shows that even the church that Jesus and the apostles founded was already getting corrupted by 100 AD. It didn't last very long. Then Smyrna from 100 AD to 313. This was uh, a very bad time for the church. Pergamus 
went from 313 to 538. Thyatira from 538 to 1517. Sardis from 1517 to 1833. So that's when all the Protestant denominations had lost much of their pioneers' fervor. Now, I dare say the founder of any church, if they were to be brought out of the grave and they saw what their church is doing now, they would be shocked. And they would probably start really laboring with people to change. But God doesn't let those things go on forever, and so he brought a revival, which produced for a short time again Philadelphia. You see the pattern? Jesus started the Christian church, and it went, it went downhill. So then he started the Reformation, and it went downhill. So then he started another reformation under the Church of Philadelphia, and sad to say, it went down as well and became Laodicea. I don't think it'll be called Laodicea when, it, when the latter rain falls, which is the very last revival that God is gonna bring uh, upon the earth, and we'll say more about that later.